What's up guys, Agent here with another PTS video, and today we're going to be discussing an interesting set that most of you probably have never heard of or even used before, and it's known as Medusa. So Medusa is a heavy armor base game set that you can get from Arx Corinium. The set bonuses on live server aren't really that great. I believe on the live server right now it is something like health, uh, spell crit, health, and then game mana force at all times, pretty much making it a decon set for those of you guys who still run Arx Cridium for whatever reason. Um, but they changed it in this PTS cycle to basically be a bunch of spell crit on top of gaining the mana force at all times. So you get three bonuses of spell crit, the five piece adds an additional 900 spell crit, and then the uh, obviously, you get the Mind of Force at all times. Now, one of the interesting things with running Medusa is obviously the fact that you get a bunch of spell crit now. But it's also the fact that running it basically means you can drop Shadow Acceleration or uh, Barbed Trap in place of something like Inner Light or maybe another damage ability or even a utility ability like a Shield or a Self Heal on Magicka DPS. The main thing, though, is by dropping something like Barbed Trap or Challenge Acceleration, basically open up that global cooldown for another spammable, potentially, or another damage ability, basically. Uh, so this could result in higher damage. So that's why this video is taking a look at just how much damage do you gain by using Medusa as a set. Now, like I mentioned earlier, Medusa is a heavy armor set, so there's two possibilities that you could use while running this set. The first one is basically use it like you would use Elfbane on a Magic DK. That is, you have two armor sets, or armor pieces, I should say, so for example, the chest and the legs, and then you have the rather five pieces being light, which does mean if you don't have a light monster helm, you will need to farm for the light monster helm. And then you run your other set as normal, and of course you have the jewelry as well because it's a heavy armor set. So for this one, I have Soraya here. Now the alternative is to run it as a front bar set, which might not be very good, at the very least not compared to running it on the body. Because the 5-piece is essentially a static bonus, you want to try to maintain it on both bars as best you can. So that Elfbane setup, the Elfbane-esque setup that I mentioned earlier, where you have two heavy armor pieces along with the jewelry, that might be preferential compared to running it as a front bar, because if you run it as a front bar set, you're losing the 1733 sp uh, spell crit along with Mind of Force while you're on your back bar. That's not a huge deal because, generally speaking, you're going to be on your back bar anywhere between 25-30% to 30 of the time, so it's not a huge loss in the Mind of Force uptime, but it is still something to take into consideration if you decide to run Medusa as your front bar set. Uh, the advantage of also running Medusa as a front bar set is you can run, you have a little bit more flexibility when it comes to body sets because your set pieces are obviously going to be, second set pieces are obviously going to be on your body. So you could run something like New Moon Acolyte or Julianos, basically another static bonus set instead, uh, versus if you were as, as a body, you basically are more or less tying yourself to a proc set like Sororia. Uh, given the change to Sororia, that might actually be beneficial considering Sororia is a little bit easier to play now as a front bar set, but that's still something you want to keep in mind when you're trying to decide which of these two possible sets you want to run using Medusa. Now, I do have a couple of parses here. So, first of all, I do want to point out the sustain issues that you're going to be getting with Medusa. So, this is Medusa as your body set here. You can see my bars here. I basically swapped out Rearming Trap here for Inner Light on the back bar. But again, your sustain is going to end up dropping as a result of this. And that's because Barb Trap, when we were running it, used our secondary resource, our stamina. Basically, that gave us a little bit of breathing room when it came to sustain. In addition, we are losing 2% max magicka because we are running 5 light and 2 heavy pieces. So, despite the fact that it's only 2% additional magicka that we're losing, it's still something you want to take into consideration here because you will end up losing about 1 to 1.5k max magicka as a result of this. But the actual DPS that we pulled is just shy of 79.1k. Very, very respectable. Now, I did do a couple of other parses here. This one was with Medusa as our front bar set. We're still keep, keeping Sororia here as our secondary set here, and Ma as our Monster Helm set. Again, we replaced Barb Trap with Inner Light here. And you can see here that our sustain, pretty much identical, uh, maybe a little bit better compared to uh, running Medusa as a body, but still running into the issue of a little bit worse sustain compared to running something like Mother Sorrow or Spell Strategist or Elemental Succession. 
DPS gear is still pretty respectable at 77.5k. Moving on next here, I uh, believe our spell strategist parse is way up here in the front here at 75.8k here. This is spell strategist as the body, Swaria as our front bar set, and we are running barb trap here on the back bar instead of inner light here. Now our sustain is obviously going to be a lot better because we're able to run barb's trap, which allows us to use secondary resource every about 17 seconds or so, 15 to 17 seconds, which gives us a little bit of additional breathing room when it comes to sustain here. But in terms of DPS, we are going to be losing some DPS here, and that is because we have to give up a global cooldown in order to use Barbed Trap. So again, the advantage of running Medusa is we don't have to use Barbed Trap any longer. We can use that global cooldown for another spamble. In this case, it'd be something like Stalking Blast Bones or uh, our, uh, our, our Skull Spammable, for example, Ricochet Skull. So... You can see here that running Spell Strategist or Mother Sorrow is going to be a little bit weaker compared to running um, Medusa here. So again, take a look at that difference. 79.1k compared to uh, 75.8k. So you're taking a look at a difference of just over 3.5k DPS. Now of course this is only you know a handful of parses here. There is some crit RNG you have to take into consideration here. Uh, but even with the crit RNG in mind here and the fact that these are single parses, I would say that Medusa is definitely a set that, if they don't make any other changes, is something that it might be worth farming for. Uh, you do need to have the transmute stones in order to transmute the jewelry, of course. Uh, but in general, I would say if you have Medusa sets, I would try to hold onto them if you can, because it does seem like it is going to be a pretty strong set going into the next DLC. But that pretty much covers it for this video. Hopefully you guys found this informative. I will see you guys in the next dungeon.